Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition, where I am, as usual, trying to find my way out of this place. Because like all good level designs in Dragon Age Inquisition, there are huge walls that block you off from getting through to other areas. There's like a big... Red Templar thing right over there that I... Oh, here we go. Freaking finally. Yeah, here's that white tree that was falling over that kind of marked our way in. I wonder why it's so white. Look, man. I think, I think you're a Templar. Encampment and... I just want, just want to get through, you know, just want to get through, uh, get you out of the way ASAP, cause guys like you are annoying, oh hey, you're a roguish type, get off my guys, oh yeah, you're like, you guys gone crazy. No, you, we definitely need to take care of you. Yeah, you need to go bye-bye. Yeah, you're getting him from the back. Whoop, 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 whoop. <gasps> Oh, shoot. Oh, we are so screwed. Hold up. Nope, I am gonna be... Where's Varric? Where's Beric? Cole, Red Templar, Dorian. Talon's dead, cause he's an idiot. I don't know, oh, Beric is right there. We need to just run away, okay? Nope, Beric, we're running. Running, running, running. Oh, running straight into one of those, awesome. No, if we get far enough away from battle, we should be able to have everybody regenerate. Oh, hey, look at that. Okay, we got far enough away. Where is me? I'll make sure that my character isn't like way far away. Oh, there I am. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. That rift is, like, really difficult. So I'm not gonna go after it just yet. Nope. Nope. Just gonna go try to get this dang nab camp established. Because it's supposed to be easier to do it this way. And then run straight back. But apparently it's not. It's gonna not gonna be that easy. Oh, I just gotta... Taking the sights when I'm not being killed. I, got, I think I might have only had half health, but he freaking took me out to the town. Freaking heck. Is this the camp? Oh. So, set up camp or keep moving? Nah, nah, we'll camp. My influence is going up. Rest. Talon doesn't get much sleep, but uh, we're gonna rest. Is there... Here in this safe spot with, you know, Fenral. All right, we need to change party. That's why we came all the way over here. It's card's kind of weird looking like that. Uh, Cassandra. Let's bring Cassandra. Cole and Vivian. Yeah. Of course, they need. 
attention. Vivian, yes, we're gonna be working on. Hmm. Uh, I do like the look of this one. Yeah. Let's do it. Cassandra. She has blessed blades too. What's this one? Oh yeah, this is great. Yes. That stuns nearby enemies and damages demons. Uh, yeah, let's get it. Cool, cool. Bleh. Hey, dog, carry me now. Meh. Like, really? Gross. Um, okay. Now, somehow, we have to make our way all the way back. To that place going kind of around again nope them. nope no you don't sir I think I was even called sir when I was a female it was just like a title like a lady knight was sir knight regardless of being a male or a female Well, there's no way I could... Hey, 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 look at that. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have the jar of bees. No way I could get back up that way, but that was an easy way to get down. Alright, nope. Um... Yeah, turn that off. I don't know where I'm going. Didn't I... Turn that off. Yeah, turn it off. That crow is magical. I don't think I've saved in a while, actually. Did I say that already? I don't know. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, oh no. Actually, nope, it's 2.30. 2.30. It had been a while since I saved. I just... Can't stop believing or playing this game. I mean, Dragon Age art book is so pretty, and I want to go fight a dragon. I want to go to the Empress because there's a dragon up there that drops scout armor that is gorgeous. I put Sarah in it, and I just, oh my gosh, I was so jealous. But I ended up getting some dragon armor from my mate, from a warrior character that was pretty bad. Eh? I don't know if I ever got mage armor from a dragon. Can't remember. I, I went on kind of a killing spree of dragons. Though. I killed like three in a row at one point because I saw that rad armor and I was like, I want some, and I like went on a mad killing spree. Cassandra, we are here. Because not a single one of us can bang open this door. Not a single one of us men folk could bang down this door. Would you mind? Would you mind opening this, this stupid door? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice! Red Lyrium. They must have been smuggling it for the Templars. Not anymore. Whoa, personal st Oh, God, yeah, it's definitely infected. Yeah, that was a delayed shipment. Oh, and there's another furnace. Read. Kept several journals. 
August and I have established outposts in the Emerald Graves. We are spreading the word to both armies. I'm sick of good or lazy men and women dying for someone else's cause. It ends now. Only should belong to us, people who defend her borders, who till her fields. If we're to fight and kill for something, let it be that. Several pages later, Templars approached us. They are not the order I knew, but they have offered weapons and gold if we help bring their supplies to the Emerald Graves. If we are to free the Dale from the grasp of the nobility, we need what they have to offer. It's a deal with a demon, but our cause is worthwhile. And that is what sends all good men to their demise. An official appraisal. A note addressed to the villa's former owner lies next to an unusual device. Lord Morel, I pose a few questions to my contacts in the White Spire, discreetly, of course, lest they want the peace for themselves. From what I can gather, device, rustically dubbed a lyrium eperlan, is meant to restore broken runes. They are not widely used. Some suggest that if the rune were affixed to an object, the device could restore the item itself, although I was unable to confirm the truth of this. This is purely academic, as it requires a mage to function. It is nevertheless a rare piece, prized among the collections of curiosities. I trust you are pleased with the purchase. Sincerely, Emile, blah blah, collector and purveyor. I placed, I placed a fragment. Oops, I mean, uh, do I need to be a mage? I don't know. Do I not have the key anymore? Did I? Oh, 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 oh. She looks rad when she starts putting on magic. All right, my turn. Find a use for the ruined key. Oh, I think I'll manage. Whoop! Yeah, he has an ocularum head on his desk. Why is this? Why does this guy who lived here had like venatory to ventory things? This was a. Why have so many things if you never see them? I know, right, Cole? Seriously. You lock them away, there's no point. Just for the fact that you have them. Wow! Orlesian Banner Crown, Enhanced Life Dynamic, Corrupting Room, Battle Mage Lightning Staff, Split Staff, Schematic. Inventory is full, I don't blame it. I should be able to take, oh, okay, I was like, I should be able to take, like, one thing. All right, let me go through and see if there is something um yeah destroy that uh, i hate to destroy things but uh let's check accessories Let's destroy that. Yay. Okay, hoping some of it's like resource stuff. Yeah, that will, that won't matter, you know? Uh, okay, I'm not gonna worry about the Templar Great Sword. Oh, wow, that was actually really good. On hit, gain three guard. Jeez. Okay. Inventory. Armor? Uh, well, we can destroy one of those. Um. Sure. 
I mean, I hate to, but... Kinda trying to make some room. Well, I already have a heater shield. And I don't think the sacrificial dagger is that great. If it is, I'll come back for it. Okay, well, um, so that's it for this area then. Just we have a diluted chevalier left, and then rifts, and yeah. I guess I could go talk to uh, Fairbanks now, right? I think. Is technically what could happen. Yeah. Let's just go travel there and see. Like, if not, I'll go do the diluted chevalier also, which I'll probably do anyway, but I'll go do it quicker. I like in Origins, I'm pretty sure you can actually remove the runes, which makes sense, because it's like, you know, it's a rune, you put it in there and you can take it out, but unless you, like, fuse it to the weapon, or armor, or whatever. Here we are. Where's Fairbanks? Are they all in there? Oh, yeah, I think a shop opened up in there. Gertrude. I'm standing because of you. I've little to give, oh. but I'll always be grateful. Cole approved. In the Viridium mine. Oh. We desperately needed supplies and tried to steal some from the Freemen. The mine didn't seem well guarded, and I used to be in the militia in my home village. I don't know why we weren't killed. I do remember Sister Cousteau talking about sending us to the Empress de Lyon. Maybe I was mistaken. I can't imagine what they'd do with us there. Uh, turn you into a red lyrium mine. I hope things are going well. The supplies we salvaged from Cousteau's mine have been a great help. Thank you again for saving us. You're welcome. I'm glad we did that. I am glad too. Okay. We got a lot livelier and military looking in here. What's What is this? I can sell stuff. I will sell all those things. Everything else, I don't know. I haven't. I just got a whole bunch of stuff, and I have no idea. Uh, but it's good to make a little bit of room. Oh wait, let's uh, buy maybe. We'll see. Sniper bow is. Yeah, I'm not a big enough level yet. Balance sniper bow though. I don't think it's as good as the bow I've got. It's just basically got bows and daggers for sale. Oh, blank runestone. No schematics or anything? That's alright. Alright, this is that's the furthest I've ever gotten on this. Is that Clara girl gonna talk to me now? Or is this Fairbanks? Where is Fairbanks? Where did he go? Inquisitor, you saved Gertrude and the other. Oh my gosh, look at my Inquisitor! Look at him! Oh, that was freaky. That was freaky. That was weird. Um, Tell me about Fairbanks. What else do you know about Fairbanks? He is a good man. He found us when we most needed him. Where is he now? He doesn't like to talk about himself, so I... I actually don't know much about him. I'd like to know more about you and the rest of the people here. I'm seducing you with my voice. Farmers, fishermen, a Jolene over there is smith. Just people trying to escape the war. I'm here. What do you need? This. This is about her. I knew it! There is a rumor that he is of noble blood. Yep. Once the war is over, many of us will return to serve our lords, to work our fields, 
Race their brats. Most of the aristocrats who know little of the lives of commoners. They care nothing for us. Fairbanks is different. He is a great man. There is much he could do if he had the power. If the rumor is true, hmm. Fairbanks is noble and we have proof. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, Vivian? Oh. Uh, wow. Does Fairbanks know about this rumor? Uh, he doesn't like it. And he won't let me discuss it. Stubborn ass. Oh, shoot. Hang on. This rumor about Fairbanks being noble. What do you want me to do about it? Oh, I... I don't mean... Hold on. Perhaps if you fuck, I've written everything I know in my journal. Okay, hang on. I gotta do the Vivian Goodbye. thing. One sec. Okay, well, I just reloaded again, but there's Fairbanks, apparently. Not that I saw him oh, before. Yes. But let's talk to Gertrude. I'm standing because of you. I've little to give, but I'll How are you be ready. How did you end it? Don't mind it. I don't know what. Maybe I was mistaken. How I can't things imagine. Be. I hope things are good. The supplies. Thank you again for saving us. You are welcome. I'm going to sell it my. It was bag. good to do that. It was. I totally agree. I do. Sell my valuables. I don't think I bought anything. Um, there's that neither. Mm, we have this Clara girl who wants to talk to us. Inquisitor, you save. Uh, this is bold of me, but hang on. Let me tell me about her rings. Doesn't like to talk about I kind of wondered if he was a noble, but he doesn't really speak like one, but he kind of dresses Just like one. What do you need? Yeah. Okay. Vivian. Do you see what I'm saying? Vivian, what do you think? Your naivete is absolutely precious, darling. As is your case. But I... I just thought... Why does Vivian have an opinion on that? Does Fairbanks know about this rumor? Uh, he doesn't like it. And he won't let me dis This rumor about... Oh, I... Perhaps if you found uh -huh. it, I've written everything I know in my journal. Okay. You can look at it. Goodbye. Is there a journal around here? Nope. Oh, yes, there is somewhere. Where? Um, like standing on it. Oh, Clara's journal. She writes mainly about life, watches, reach, curious about Fairbanks' interspersed between detailed descriptions of foraging excursions. I saw Fairbanks looking at old gold medallions. I walked past him. It bore the image of some kind of bird and the motto, To the sun on blessed wings. Odd. Watchers reach. The old elf Calder has such stories. Talks about how Fairbanks helped people even before the war. Calder says there's someone. Some who think Fairbanks is actually of noble blood, not a commoner like he claims. I wonder if that has anything to do with the medallion. I pestered Calder some more to make me stop asking. He told me the story of the Lamarck family. Lord Guillaume Lamarck, only daughter, fell in love with a chevalier in the service of Lord Guillaume's enemy. And ended up with his child. Lord Guillaume was furious and turned Bernice out of their home. Then he had her lover assassinated. Bernice never returned to her father and fled to the Dales. Her child was stillborn, but Lord Giro eventually regretted what he had done and on his deathbed left all lands and titles to her and all her offspring. Why would he have done that if he was certain the child died? I can't stop thinking about it. What if Fairbanks really is really the Lamarck baby? Imagine all the good he could do if he was noble and inherited that fortune, but having him reinstalled stated will take proof. After all I've heard of the Council of Heralds, there can be no doubt. Maybe the medallion? But anyone could have a trinket like that. There could be something here in the Dales that helped me prove it, but I wouldn't know where to start. Yeah. <laughs> um. No. That's pretty crazy. Do you talk now? No. Doesn't want us leaving camp because it. Uh, she's a feisty woman. Hey, it's all sunny now. Was it sunny before? I don't know. Fairbanks, my man. Okay, here, good. He's still there. 
You saved my people. We'd given them up for dead. Perhaps the stories are true. See, he calls them my people too, and nobles tend to do that. Haven't we? Tell me about your people. I found a few. Yep. We just want to survive. Mm. What is when I quarrel with when Selene does it matter? We are all weary, Inquisitor. I heard. There's a rumor circulating that you're of noble birth. Ah, oh, Clara, I told you not to pursue this. Pay that rumor no mind. I'm not noble, nor would I desire such. Yeah. I need to be going. Good day, then. Now, being a noble would not be very fun, I don't think. Like, really. But... You know? Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with... That's the thing, though, is he'd, he would hopefully be a good man, not a bad man, you know? One could hope, anyway. Oh, we have to go to him, anyway. Maybe we'll just uh, collect things on the way? Oh, it's right on the outside of the villa. Um, the villa belonged... Belong? No, it didn't belong to Giro or whatever. Villa had current occupants, though, that decided to ski daddle. Well, my man, I'm sorry, but we might have to prove that you are a noble if that is what the people want. Well, yeah, it would have been easier, but not nearly so fun. I don't think she was necessarily bad. Well, actually, she was sending people to the freaking lyrium mines, so. Never mind, she was not a nice lady. She's like, I don't want the people hunted or murdered. There must be something here. Or murdered or anything, but uh, we're gonna send them off and the yeah, we're just not gonna think about it. Oh, something else in here. What is that? It's like a uh, has a secret compartment. A midwife's journal. This time-worn diary was found in most most more valuable items. It is bound in leather and has solid silver trim. Which might be why it was saved. A few entries can still be made out. This has been the coldest winter I can remember. Even the river is frozen. No one should be out there, not in this blizzard. So you can imagine my surprise when there is a knock on my gate. A young woman. She's looking for the Fairbanks cottage. Oh, is that why his name is Fairbanks? I go out. I say to her, nothing fair about this weather, but yes, you are at the right place. She throws back her cloak, and I see she is heavy, less than two weeks away. Please help. She's almost in tears. I bring her into the house and sit her by the fire with some teen slippers. She is young, not more than twenty. Her hands are smooth. They have not seen a day of work in their life. Her clothes are travel-stained, but fine. A cloak must be worth at least fifty royals. Beautiful blue, trimmed with fox fur. Her name is Bernice, but she won't say more. Many girls come here not wanting to say who they are. I understand. Bernice has had the baby, a boy, healthy, head full, of, full head of hair. She named him Evarist. She tried to pay me with a heavy gold locket, a falcon on its face. I asked her what it was. It looked valuable. She said it's her father's and she doesn't care to have it anymore. I tell her she might not, but her son might one day to want to know where he's from. What a wise midwife. A new year. Bernice should be healthy enough to leave, but it is still cold and I just cannot turn her out. I will ask her to stay and be my assistant. I have needed help for a while. My fingers are not as nimble as they used to be. Clever girl. She make a fine apprentice. Oh, okay. Cool. So maybe he took the name Fairbanks because that's where he was born. I feel like I need Embryon for something, I'm just not sure what. And there's something, oh, in the other side of the villa. I wonder why that, oh, I was like, I guess that the, the journal was probably saved because of the silver trim, but it didn't necessarily just come from there. I was like, that little thing is Fairbanks? Oh, these are looters, they're just gathering all these things, okay. What? There's a book back there. An old painting in a carved wooden frame. Pans right off in some places. 
Carved in the back of the frame, Lord Guirot Lamarck. The portrait shows the Lord as he must have looked over 40 years ago. He bears a striking resemblance to Fairbanks. I think that's actually a portrait of Andraste, but okay. I hope that, um, what's his bucket is cool with this. I think it would suck to be a noble because then you're very responsible for the people in your care, you know? And then you have to deal with politics and all that, and yeah, it's just not fun. Alright. I think the last piece of evidence is going to be in the cottage where... How do I get out of here? Um, where that the deluded chevalier is. I'm not sure why he's deluded or what, but... I think I can get out this way. These trees are massive. I did enjoy finding, I think up far to the north, there's uh, a lot of elvish rooms, even like actual like, like old temples or shrines or whatever. I would love to hear Vivian and Cassandra chat. Love it. You hear that, ladies? I would really like to hear you chat. And I think Cassandra and Cole already had a part of their conversation that I've heard before. So. But I have not heard, um, I'm pretty sure I haven't heard Vivian and Cole talk. 